yes the next topic that is black hole what is the meaning of black hole the as the name says black hole means is it the color is it the is there any as such something called as a hole and which is in black color no that is not the case the black hole means neither it is not something called as an empty space okay but this is something in opposite to it rather than empty space it is highly dense space in the any universe you can find in any place so highly dense means compared to the the body size and if you see the weight of it it weighs more compared to any other body any other body you will find in the universe that means the matter that you find in the universe right so compared to the dense you know the density that means the density is directly proportional to the weight of that given you know the material so for that material the the density wise and you know weight wise the black hole do weigh lot compared to any other material compared to the size okay <clears throat> so why well, you know here it is something you can see that in this black hole a huge amount a great amount of matter is packed into very small area area is small the volume is small but the weight or amount of you know the the material that is packed inside is huge enormous that is why it carry you know if you weigh the the same size material like earth and earth size if you see the earth size you know the black hole if you weigh them black hole will be weighing billions and billions of times compared to the earth weight and the, that is what is actually the black hole suppose if you see that a black hole a black hole which you know which may be you know a star of 10 times more massive than a particular sun if you know the weight of a sun if you know the weight of a sun a black hole if you see a generally small black hole okay there are different sizes in the black holes also the smallest black hole if you see even the smallest black hole weight is weight is 10 times more than the the sun the you know the sun in our solar system so you can see that you know the weight a weight lies in the any solar system okay and that too you can see that black hole the diameter is only the size of like new york city so only one place diameter in the on the earth right is possessing almost 10 times more than the weight of the sun if you take it as sun as a comparative weight okay and the result is because of this huge you know the matter the you know the great amount of matter is packed into small area right and because of it you can see there was a huge you know the big gravitational field right the gravitational field inside that particular black hole is so strong and because of it and so strong and because of it even light could not able to even escape it why we are talking about only light escaping generally if you see for any point of weight in a body which is having a mass any body which is having a mass that body will automatically will be creating a kind of you know the a gravitational pull that means the earth will be attracting or pulling that particular matter or maybe body towards the earth core towards the earth core that is what we call it as you know the gravitational pull gravitational pull accepting accepting by the earth crust the earth core on the given matter it can be matter should have the mass if there is no mass there cannot no gravity cannot be accepted okay it may be accepted but in a mic you know at minute level that cannot even be recognized that is why you can see dust the massless particles is freely floating on the atmosphere right so that is why here whenever any body have you know having a mass it will be definitely attracting something called as a gravitational pull gravitational pull and because of this gravitational pull if anybody wants to move you know to the upper layers of the atmosphere from the surface of the earth you need to be going with the escape velocity escape velocity means this is the speed which is actually superseding the gravitational pull accepting by the earth core on the given matter so the the minimum amount of velocity that is required to escape the gravitational you know the pull of the earth is called as escape velocity suppose if you see the escape velocity that is generally you know the use uh, for the uh, launching of any spacecraft to leave the earth's surface finally move to the upper you know the upper atmosphere the upper atmosphere the speed should be 
almost 4000 kilometers per hour and by moving at this particular speed that particular space spacecraft is virtually dominating over the gravitational pull exerting on that given spacecraft okay so this is the escape, you know, escape velocity for the given spacecraft okay so likewise what is the escape velocity right so here also you can see that the the black hole in the black hole there is a huge gravitation and because of gravitational field gravitational field means this is gravity right it is accepting pressure on any element which is going near to it it is accepting pressure to attract towards its core towards its core okay so here the on the earth only you know to move you know the, on the earth if any spacecraft want to leave the earth surface the escape velocity is 4000 km per hour what might be the escape velocity of a black hole that means if anything going near to the black hole right if anything going near to the black hole if it could able to escape the gravitational pull of the black hole then you can see that you know the, the you can easily measure the escape velocity for that particular you know the the material which is going near to or maybe escape trying to escape the black hole but here is a case that suppose if you assume that here the gravitational pull of the earth is so strong or let's say that gravity is infinite gravity is infinite means nobody nothing can be moved you know without having any contact with the the earth you cannot even you know the separate the body from the earth surface continuously it will be continuous stick to it it is because the gravitation pull is so stronger your energy or the kind of velocity you are traveling with right is not at all sufficient to dominate that gravitation pull okay so that gravitation in the black hole the gravitational pull or escape velocity is so great gravitation pull is so stronger almost infinite you know nothing can be escaped out of it nothing can be escaped out of it. that means so on the earth from the earth surface spacecraft can be escape from the earth surface or earth, earth surface if it is traveling at a 4000 km per hour but if the gravity is that to the gravity on the earth surface is only 9.8 grams per you know the 9, 9.8 but if you see if the gravity is infinite then how much of the escape you know with what escape velocity the given spacecraft has to leave so no you know escape velocity can dominate the infinite gravitation pull that is what is the problem here in the black hole and why specifically we are talking about light light generally is you know the these uh, the atoms are massless particles these massless particles will not get affected by will not get affected by the gravitation so that is why whatever may be the medium they do always travel with the same speed the light waves will always travel with the same speed especially without getting affected by the gravity it is because the massless photons are transmitting from the light emitting body okay so in this process here there are no mass particles involved that is why the gravity will not have any impact on the movement or path of travel of the given light you should not need anything called as escape velocity for a given light so the suppose if you see uh, if you assume it is earth it is earth and from maybe from mars okay maybe from mars if we are you know using high beam light if you are you know use and suppose if it is crossing the mars you know the earth like here and finally suppose here there is something called like you know jupiter as it another planet another planet person you know another planet is here then the torch that is you know the used by the the person sitting on the mars and which is literally touching the earth surface and finally going to the other planet where you can see that the final light is reaching the other planet also so it could able to reach it is because this light is not attracted by the gravitational pull of the earth if it is attracted by the gravitational pull right if it is attracted by the gravitational pull then you cannot see that this light is traveling beyond this point beyond this point light will not travel okay but here is a thing that light will not get affected generally by the gravitational pull and that to earth gravitation is only 9.8 and suppose understand a scenario if the gravitation is infinite gravitation is infinite nothing means nothing even light could not able to pass beyond this point beyond this point light could not able to because whatever light that is going from here to there it is completely attracted by completely attracted by the 
you know the gravitational pull of the given body okay that is the problem with if the you know the uh, gravity is infinite even light is also being bent generally light cannot be bent it is continuously uh, flow you know the transmitting from one place to another place but here you can see there is a permanent bend and this gravity is continue you know the attracting the light also that is what we call it as not even light can escape escape means once it goes into the circumference of this gravitational pull of the given body if it could able to escape then you can see that light is escaping light generally escapes in all the near all the uh, the bodies in the universe but not at the black hole once light reaches to the surface of the you know the circumference or surface of the black hole then total light will be you know the sucked into then you cannot see that light is going beyond this point beyond this point if it is not going beyond this point right nobody can see that what is there here if anybody wants to see the earth whatever light you are you know the light is going in this direction it has to virtually transform to other side then you can see that whatever is involved here you can see that there is that body you can see that visibly but here light that is going here it is not going beyond this point it is being completely absorbed and because of it we could not able to see something called as a black hole and that is why it is called as a black hole it is just like you are walking on a road which is completely dark which is completely dark and you could not able to see anything right before your eyes it is because there is no light if there is a light then you can see that what is the light ahead of you right so this is exactly the same scenario this particular region is creating a place in the universe that place where light even could not able to escape and where we could not able to see this we call this as a black hole so the black hole definition is we could not able to see it why we could not able to see it is it because light that is being you know light is being uh, at, uh, you know aimed at towards that particular region all that light is being you know the completely the curved into the given black hole it is because of the huge you know the infinite gravity and that is why that complete region is being masked masked from the all the people who, you know especially the the scientists those who are observing the that particular space in the universe that is why it is called a black hole and the the this is what is meaning by the not even light can escape generally gravity do not apply to the massless particles but here even the massless light photons also is being attracted into and completely light is being bended 100 per 90 percent bend you know 90 degrees bend is there and even single photon is being escaped out of it and that is why you can see that gravity is exerting not only on the massless you know mass particles even on the massless particles also the gravity can be accepted but generally the gravity is low the gravitation pull is minimal that cannot may not be identifiable normal common man okay clear yeah. so this is what is about black hole light and escape velocity and now you can see who predicted it actually or who you know invented or discovered it nobody discovered it physically first but someone has you know the predicted it first so as part of you know the postulations is being you know proposed was being proposed by the albert einstein in 1915 as part of his general theory of relativity right as part of it he predicted that there are some places in the universe universe right we are talking about universe not our solar system in the universe there are some places where you can see that you can call them as black holes the black holes means these are the places where you can see the maximum gravity and because of this gravity no other you know no present existing you know the energies right even light could able to escape these black holes that is why we can never see these specific regions so we call them as black holes and advancing this the black holes were you know the later on identified even discovered by the stephen hawking finally giving a proof that there are yes there are some spaces called as black holes but first time a prediction was made as part of his mathematical calculations he was doing as part of his you know general theory of relativity that is in the beginning of the 20th century okay the next thing is how exactly these particular regions of too much mass is condensed into small you know the small volume how but you know that formation happens 
the origin for this specific formation lies with a star like we have sun which is a star right so star means which have some you know the capacity that some you know star also can be divided as like the earth core right the internal structure of the earth can be divided same thing like you know earth the sun also can be or star also can be divided there is something called as a core part this is in this core part you can see the different types of you know the fuels that are burning which is actually releasing energy that fuel generally you call it as nuclear fuel okay so that nuclear fuel is being burned in the larger quantities in the core region and that you know that fuel by burning it that uh, because of the burning huge heat is generated that heat is being dissipated in all the direction that is what we see that as you know the you know sun radiation that is coming to the earth okay so likewise you know the sun which is a star every star have its internal combustion and internal combustion it is happening it is because of the continuous collision of the atoms lies in its core and those are heavy metals and those heavy till the time those heavy metals are you know available in the given star core region there will be continuous burning and releasing of energy releasing of energy and you can see that star which is doing such a huge you know such an activity why you know if it is internally if it is you know burning too much and releasing you know that uh, so too much of heat then we could expect that whether that star should be exploded so rather than exploding how can it be maintaining that intact nature of that you know of that particular shape how it is maintaining it because if inside of it huge you know the atoms are colliding with each other and creating that nuclear energy and releasing energy and how that you know even after releasing that huge energy right how that you know that particular body that is called a star is maintaining its shape so it is maintaining its shape it is because an opposite force is also being acted upon the given star what is that opposite force so force one is that anyway we have seen that internal pressure that is coming out of the internal combustion but what is the opposite force which is acting in the same equivalent manner that is gravitational force the gravitational force is acting you know the gravitational force of the star is creating a pressure gravitational force of the given star which is there which is starting in the core of the given star is actually creating a pulling pressure is creating a pulling pressure on the circumference of the given sun and the circumference of the given sun so this force it is gravitational pull here that is acting on the circumference of the sun right towards the core of the sun right if it is only this force is acting then the given sun will crush to the core point right but here the another side inside the core another activity is happening which is releasing huge heat energy gravitational fuel right which is exactly creating balance for this gravitation and because of this opposite forces which are balancing it each other every star every planet every body on the universe is maintaining their property or their shape even same thing happens to the earth also even on the earth also on the surface of the earth there is something called as a gravitational pull it is accepting by the core of the earth and at the same time inside the earth also there are a lot of mechanical activities that are happening and the because of those mechanical activities an opposite force energy is being released and because of it earth able to could able to create its you know maintain its surface property okay so this is you know the you know this is how the general sun will maintain its shape the gravitational pull it is only a force but on the side the opposite force that is being you know released by you know created by the sun it is coming out of the fuel that is burning inside the sun fuel inside you know burn you know that is being uh, being burned inside the sun core so is this fuel unlimited no that is a limited so till the time that fuel is available that may you know the heavy metals are available in the sun core region there will be nuclear fuel release and then the opposite balance force will be created once this fuel get exhausted then what will happen obviously there will not be this you know this you know this force only this gravitational pull and because of this gravitational pull then the the given sun the given star 
will crush to it you know the will crush to its core and turning towards the the core region so this is what you can see mentioned here star runs out of the nuclear sphere star runs out of the nuclear sphere it could not able to create a balancing force balancing force for the gravitational pull then slowly the you know the given sun star will collapse internally towards its core towards its core this will collapse and this collapse will lead to packing up of so much material are creating a space that is called as a black hole creating a space called as black hole this collapse of the given sun towards its core is called as the you know the finally creation of in the particular place where sun was there previously there you can see that it is sun is you know the bright vibrant sun is replaced with a black hole okay the second question is does every star which collapses into will form a black hole no there is a particular limit or mass or radius a given star should be having to you know to convey you know, to become that region that uh, to become to sun uh, that to become a black hole so what is that you know the radius the core the core of any sun if it is more than 2 to 3 solar masses solar masses means our sun right we are comparing with the our sun if a given star is more than you know having a weight of you know the core weight of more than 2 to 3 at least 2 to 3 solar masses that means 2 to 3 suns then that collapse of that given star out of the you know after the fuel is run out then that collapse will lead to in the given place a black hole okay if what if this you know the solar mass is the the of the given sun the solar mass is less than two solar masses for a given star if the so you know the weight of that given so you know star if it is less than the two solar masses okay then in those regions you do not see that a formation of a black hole but you will see there is something called as a formation of white draft white draft means here this person you know once the fuel is run out once it is collapses into the towards the core then it will be condensed into small like you know the small uh, like planet like right where you can see that there is a body which you can see it right and which is in white shape which is in white shape because whatever sun we can see the red it is not because of the color of the you know sun is red it is because of the radiation that is coming because of the heat that is there surrounding the sun because of that heat you can see that sun is in the red color and that you know that red color as there is no heat you do not see that red color okay actually this you know radiation is actually colorless but the color is being imparted it is because of the radiation at because of the heat that uh, ray, you know that radiation is converted you know being colored as red color so if the given sun any star which is collapsing which is collapsing if it is having a less than two solar masses of you know the weight then you can see that it is converted into not radiating body not radiating body so no radiation when there is no radiation because of lack of fuel what you can see is that a white draft white draft means a colorless body you, you can see it a colorless body we can see it okay so that is what happens if it is the weight is less than two solar mass if it is more than two solar masses then what happens that the gravitation pull is so stronger and that so strong gravitational pull what you know what it does is it collapses rapidly it collapses rapidly it will squeeze all the electrons and protons which are there inside the given core and these protons and electrons are continuously releasing inside the core by burning the heavy metals in the given sun given sun's core okay so once the fuel is run out what is left over is only the electrons and protons and all these electrons and protons are jam packed into smaller region and because of it you can see that there is an interaction between electrons and protons finally you can see that out of the interaction neutrons and neutrinos are created neutrons and neutrinos are created neutrinos are chargeless particles and these neutron neutrinos can escape easily can escape easily out of that collapsing region okay that packed region from the packed region these neutrinos will be escaped but neutrons will be locked up neutrons will be locked up 
okay so this is something because of these neutrons that in a smaller region that the weight of that particular black hole will look so dense and it will become so weighty okay fine so this is you know the concept of creation of black hole and not every star once the fuel is run out the star is you know the turned into the black hole only the sun star which is having the mass of more than two suns okay solar masses only those can become those regions can become this so you know the black holes okay now if you see an imaginative structure of the black hole how it looks like how it looks like it is suppose this is actually previously the star now that large star is condensed into you can see a small like volleyball type of you know the radius of size it is converted in a collapse into so once a big sun a star is collapsed into the volleyball size of the ball you know volleyball size of planet or maybe it has been collapsed into and this is called as you know the one star is collapsed into right this is how it will become this is how it will become this is called a singularity this is called a singularity and assume it this is a volleyball which is having huge weight and huge weight and assume that this is a mesh and in this mesh if you are having this particular ball right this volleyball if you place suppose if, you know four people are holding it on the four sides and if you place a volleyball what will happen then obviously this volleyball will put you know will exert a pressure will take it to the point where you know till the point this particular mesh will balance the weight of that particular volleyball right so same thing here also what einstein you know had predicted is this is something called as space time continuum this is something called as space time continuum total universe is like a mesh in that mesh you can see that all the solar systems all the galaxies everything is hosted on this you know on this particular mesh okay so this is what is you know the what science in the you know the predicted at the point of time mentioned is that total solar you know the universe is composed of space time continuum that space time continuum looks like a fish net a fish net okay in that fish net you can see that there are some bodies you know depending upon the gravity they are processing they are creating you know the bends on the space time continuum that bend we can see that like the example i told you a volleyball heavy weight and volleyball mesh if you are placing it it will take it down so like the here the, it is take it here take it down from top to bottom to this point it is because here in the space time continuum the space time continuum can be bent can bend only by the black holes because of the huge gravitational you know the force they are having i told you the gravitational force in this you know these bodies is infinite and because of this infinite gravitation field they are creating a bend right a bend on the space time continuum and wherever they are creating a bend on the surface where the topmost point on the space time continuum right so this is what you can see it like an edge to the funnel it is if you see only this one right if you see only this one where the singularity now the star is collapsed into this right and it has created a kind of you know the a valley type of structure here a bend on the space time continuum and you can see that here it is an only imaginable thing it is not something that there is a clear cut border there in this particular place it is not a clear cut border it is only a bending okay on the space time continuum this bending is called as event horizon this bending an imaginative you know border there on the space time continuum right the imaginative border just like a funnel right this one this is called as you know event horizon event horizon now if you see that any body has come into the near field of it any body has come into near field of it. see nobody nobody no body will come into near you know the near field of it okay because it is not a wandering bird it is standing lies there only thing is but in the universe every body is moving according to the laws which is governing the universe okay no body is static and like as it is having a huge gravitation field does not mean that like a lion in a you know forest going to the places wherever there is an animal going there and hunting it down and eating it down it does not happen like this 
it is having its own path it will follow its own path likewise other planets and other bodies also plan you know following their own path but but for any reason the movement of this you know singularity and movement of this any other you know the plan any other body is you know the, they have come into contact then this body cannot escape this particular body entered into this one right this body entered into the event horizon in near to the event horizon this body cannot escape the gravitational pull of the singularity and because you know continuously it is whirling around here whirling around here one day you know after a point what it does is this particular you know the gravitation pull will you know the rip off this particular body that means will be exploded this body is exploded and all the material packed inside that you know the particular body is distributed surrounding this it distributed surrounding this event horizon okay because of the huge gravitational pull applied on this particular body entered into the event horizon okay the total is you know the total uh, material packed inside that particular body is opened up and the now it is distributed total around the event horizon so that's what you can see here demonstration that a body has you know this is a you know event horizon a singularity something lying deep inside it and we are looking at the side view okay we are looking at the the top view of that means suppose if you are looking it from this side the total thing if you are looking at this side that means inside of it you cannot see that right and this is what you can see here we are looking at top angle so singularity somewhere in between this is even horizon and even horizon why there is no complete signal you know complete circle you can see this there is a complete circle below this but what is this in between the you know disk or what is you know this in between what is this which is circulating around so i told you the specific you know the event horizon any body which is come into near of event horizon that you know the total body is exploded and total material will be spread in the in surrounding to that black hole so by spreading it you can see that the total material is circulating circulating around it till the time the total you know the the total material is get absorbed by the singularity okay is attracted towards the singularity it's not absorption it is not eating it anything it is attracting majorly mainly by releasing gases it is only attracting the material so because gravitation pull is so strong it cannot leave anything so it will rip off anything any material that has come into the near reach of event horizon it will rip off and whatever material lies inside and that will be spread all over and immediately it will not you know able to attract it it will take it time till the time it is you know that particular rip off material lies inside that particular body which has a rip off all that material is circulating to you know to uh, the around it and because of it, you can see a disk type shape is created that disk type shape is called as accretion disk accretion disk so other two things we know what is event horizon right and singularity accretion disk is that spread over material okay and if you see from a long distance how a black hole looks like after ripping off okay after ripping off any new body that has come in near reach of the black hole then you can see that all that body's material is surrounding under this one and not only this one and another layer is creating across and from here you can see this this why you know you can see that virtual band it is something that entering into the black hole entering into that particular material towards attracting into towards the singularity towards singularity that means the infer you know the rip off material is circulating here circulating at the same time it is also going like this and whatever is going in this direction it is being attracted towards the core until the time it enters you know the given material enters into the space it is circulating here all the circulating material creating a disk type structure that is called as accretion disk and out of this accretion disk slowly 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 this singularity is attracting the material and that attracting material is coming from this side to this and this side to this and it did create like a disk type so this is it looks like so it has created it is because now the process is it is entering into towards the singularity because of the gravitation 
so that is what actually you know the this is actually an imaginative picture that is was uh, that was not the uh, you know picture taken by the scientist but this was imaginative because of the understanding the scientist has had has got the on the black hole over a point of time this is how they depicted it so i don't know how many of you watched that movie recently there was a movie that has come i think in 2014 like that interstellar movie if you watch that movie you will find clearly the you know general theory of relativity the black hole there also they depicted the you know the black hole like this right they are talking about something called a singularity and the event horizon they are using all those words so possible try to watch that movie you will something like you know cinematic expression right next the types of black holes the types of black hole before the types of black holes first you see there is a star and in the star having the weight of less than two solar masses then after the fuel is run out it will be converted into white drops so you can see that this meter is multiplications of how many number of suns sun means sun mass okay one you know if the sun star is equivalent you know almost equivalent to one you know one sun weight then that particular star will be converted into white white bar white bar this we can see okay because there is no such thing called as a huge gravitation force but there is something called as a neutron star neutron star means a star which is having the weight more than two or three suns a star which is having the weight of more than two or three suns those are called as neutron stars these neutron stars will create something called as a once the fuel is run out they will create the black holes those black holes are very small black holes those are called as stellar black holes the stellar black hole for the creation of stellar stellar black holes you can see the star should be having a weight of mass right at least 10 to 100 times the mass of sun then you can see that stellar that means a big see here itself this you know the neutron star can create a black hole but the black hole is very small to recognize because I, as i told you the huge material is compacted and finally being condensed into very small and the the weight of that particular star is only of the, you know two times or three times or four times the sun the black hole that is being created out of the collapse is very small it is very highly difficult to detect it that's why we don't know whether these kind of smaller small black holes are exist or not but the stellar black holes at least you can see a minimum in range right uh, you know star which is which had previously at least 10 to 100 times the mass of sun once it fuel run out collapses into it will form stellar black hole and there is something called as <clears throat> intermediate black hole but till now scientists could not able to you know detect something called as intermediate black hole but they detected another you know end of black hole those are called as supermassive black hole the supermassive black hole means it, it is it is because that a billion or one billion right this this is the weight of the given sun if it is almost the one billion times the object or you know this times the sun weight then if those you know stars collapsed into right the weight of the given star is you know billion times more than the sun and if that sun in that sun fuel runs out and if that sun collapses then it will create a super massive black hole very big you know the black hole and these are largest these are largest okay in the universe so generally the black holes are three types stellar intermediate type and super massive stellar black holes style scientists still not could not identify them so it is you know we don't know what is the reason but here the scientists have till now the identified the stellar and super massive black holes okay okay so so here this you know scientists recognized it but they could not able to identify how exactly this you know for you know these particular black holes has formed these black holes are formed it is because of the continuous merging of one stellar another stellar one another stellar so merging of these you know stellar black holes might have created this intermediate uh, the mass black holes are not because they did not see a star of the having a weight of this in this range so that's why we cannot see that you know how these you know the black holes can form so the only reason can be the 2 3 4 you know the so many stellar black holes together if they merge maybe an intermediate mass black hole may be formed okay but these are only just types this is nothing technical to here 
then how to detect black holes as we talked about even light is not escaping total region is dark then how can we see it how can we know that whether there is something that black hole is exist right so this is where you can see that well, you know when we are looking at the this particular you know the issue this about this picture here i told you here if the material is rip off if material is not rip off you cannot see that no activity is happening we can never recognize something called as a black hole but any body has come in the near reach and material is rip off then you can see that when the material is being going into right the center that is towards singularity then even horizon will release something called as x ray rays will release x ray rays and these x ray rays these x ray rays can be detected by the telescopes okay so we are not seeing this you know the accretion disk we could not see it we could not see it and uh, the material that is being sucked in right are attracted towards the singularity even that is not, cannot be detected cannot be seen what we can see it when it is finally be you know singularity when it is attracting and digesting that material into its core then it will release something called as you know x rays radioactive material x rays and these x rays will can be detected by the telescopes okay so this is what is mentioned here because of the the strong gravity right gases around it there is something you can see that when the material is being absorbed into the singularity then the singularity will release x rays right so it looks like these x rays are coming in this direction coming in this direction these x rays will be spread and will travel through you know all parts of the universe through all parts of the universe and those x rays if we could be able to detect then we can see that the clearly through radio waves right we can see that the shape of that given body can be identified can be demonstrated okay clear <clears throat> next to detect these x rays or radio waves right the scientist and scientific community has could not able to identify them previously with one single telescope however powerful it may be so that's why they started program called as event horizon telescope this is a name of the program it is not a one telescope it is not one telescope it is only the name that name is that event horizon to see that event horizon region of the to because the shape of that particular black hole is that obviously we will be if you see from the top we can only see the event horizon right so that means the shape of the black hole is equal to the shape of event horizon event horizon and to recognize the event horizon you know to exactly depict this event horizon shape the we are started using the multiple telescopes in array okay multiple telescopes in array the total program is called as event horizon telescope otherwise it is not a single telescope okay because the black holes are very small size wise very small but weight wise they are huge enormous but size is small and the distance where they are located from the earth surface is also very far so to recognize them you know to monitor them through one single telescope or to identify the the x rays that are coming or radios that are coming out of the the given black hole it is really difficult to recognize it it is really difficult to percept by the one single telescope that is why to precisely measure and to draw a black hole you know the event horizon shape or black hole shape okay then event telescope horizon this program was launched in 2009 this under this event horizon telescope you can see the scientists all around the world they had built multiple antennas multiple antennas in different regions where you can see we can see clearly the universe okay wherever we can see the the space clearly without any you know the disruptions in those regions all across the world the scientist by coming together almost more than 300 scientists collaborating and uh, they had built a series of antennas okay which will receive these signals 
which are coming from the black holes and the series of information is being you know the used finally to create one single you know one to create a final information as if it is coming from a single dish okay as if it is coming from single antenna or from single dish that all this you know multiple uh, you know uh, the antennas whatever information they are gathering from the universe will be converted into an image form and will be sent to for the further processing to the computers as if that information is coming from one single large dish okay so multiple antennas you know connected in arrays throughout a place in different parts of the world that program is called an event horizon through this event horizon what exactly they want to monitor through this event horizon they wanted to monitor only two specific you know the black holes in the universe one specific black hole is lying in a different galaxy lying in a different galaxy see our solar system lies in the galaxy called as milky way galaxy likewise in the universe there are other galaxies so there is another galaxy that is called as messier 87 which is very far from our galaxy in that galaxy there is at the center of that galaxy there is one you know the larger super you know the super giant large black hole is lying at the center of this galaxy center of this galaxy that they are calling it as m87 star which has been collapsed into okay a black hole m87 black hole okay but m87 represent major 87 represents the here the galaxy name in that galaxy what our black hole is there at the center of it which is very you know very big which is very big from the scientist uh, prediction okay the that is named as you know that is generally referred as major 87 black hole otherwise major 87 is a galaxy name and inside that galaxy at the center of the galaxy there is a black hole that black hole we are referring it as major 87 that means black hole lies in the given galaxy likewise in our galaxy also the milky way galaxy at the center of it we can see that there is something a, a another black a black hole that is called as sagittarius a and sagittarius a it is actually a star name and to that you know that's to that star name here uh, near to that star there is a black hole that is why they are referring it as sagittarius a okay and if you see that you know the size of this sagittarius a the black hole okay the black of this black hole and this black hole compared to the the mass of a sun the sagittarius a which is that is the black hole lies in our galaxy right which is only 4 million times 4 million times okay 40 lakh times but the black hole lies in the m you know m87 uh, the galaxy it is almost 6.5 billion it is not million it is 6.5 billion okay clear so one 6.5 billion times of solar mass but the distance is so long because of it you know the more they you know the uh, getting finally recording the signals that are coming from this major 87 87 is more much more difficult compared to recording the uh, you know the secretaries a uh, radio waves okay so through this event horizon till now the scientists could able to identify any blind you know, the draw any, any picture of the image of the black hole first time by using this you know the 87 the, the by using this event horizon telescope in 2019 astronomers has captured first ever photograph of a black hole of m87 okay measure measure 87 and which is located as we know which is located in major 87 galaxy okay so this is astronomers first time clicked a black hole in the history of in the in its history that first time a black hole image was captured in 2019 and next in line see black hole they could able to you know picture means that a black hole has ripped off any other plan any other body and because that body is ripped off that accretion disc, disc is created out of that accretion disc some material is being attracted or pulled towards the singularity and then in reaction to it the x-rays are maybe the the radio waves are emanated out of the center of the event horizon okay and then only we you know the given event horizon telescope will recognize it but the distance is too long 
an activity might have happened billions of years ago we can see that those waves are traveling through the space continuum right the space time continuum those waves are traveling 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 now recently they reached in 2019 they reached the earth surface you know the the you know the our space you know the planet space that is when that these plan you know, of these event horizon telescopes could be able to recognize them okay this is not something an activity happened as you know the just before this activity because of the distance they are located in the time the given waves do take to travel from that particular place where the black hole is located from that point of view it might be located you know might have happened in billions of years ago that particular event now we are reading it okay as part of this signals and uh, the in the beginning of this month we can see that a new black hole that is sagittarius a's black hole photograph has been released by the astronomers this is what you can see the sagittarius a photograph so all that is surrounding here is you can see this is event horizon it's a sorry accretion disk accretion disk and this is center in between this is the border that is you can see that is the event horizon event horizon all around it you can see that a highly brimming radiation that is called accretion disk because some other body's material has been ripped off here okay next why scientists are curious about black hole scientists are curious about black hole and another thing they are looking into by using event horizon telescope they are looking into specifically two specific black holes and these two black holes you can see are different sizes and located in different places and by getting information from two different black holes right if we suppose compare and contrast the data we may try to find out the the what's lies inside the black hole and how the evolution happens right so everything we you know about the galaxies why exactly at the center there is a black hole right and how these you know galaxies are evol you know evolving are evolved previously and how they are evolving now how they are going to evolve in the future right so all these things can know you know can be known if we are reading you know getting data especially from the supermassive black holes in the supermassive black hole you know black holes many of the times people call it as a store of information store of so many secrets if we could able to know those secrets we can find many of the answers or mysteries that we don't know about the solar system total universe and that is why why you know what's happening inside the universe that is why you know creating curiosity for the scientist and rightfully so then only we can be better ready for the future any of the consequences or we can know more about the going ahead about the you know the black holes or any of the the particle or maybe body in the universe okay next the question is will sun ever turn into a black hole is it possible it is not it is because we talked about to turn any of the star into a black hole the minimum mass of the given star should be more than two times the sun so two times the sun of you know the sun only that particular star like neutron star can become a black hole a black hole if it is not we had seen that if the mass is then you know the given star mass is less than two stars are maybe equal to star wait then this star is converted into this particular star is converted into white dwarf white dwarf star dwarf dwarf star means it is not emanating any radiation that's why it dwarf it has become redundant but still you can see there is a mass okay a body exists in the given place okay clear so this is what is actually the total the stub black hole right 